This is Hannibal from TheHannibalTV.com, and I'm with the reinforcer, Andrew Anderson, uh, who's been on the show a couple times. He is getting an award at the Cauliflower Alley Club in Las Vegas this year, and I believe Kevin Sullivan is inducting it. We will be covering the Cauliflower Alley Club this year, so we'll be there to capture you getting the award. But what are your thoughts on receiving this prestigious award? I'm humbled, man. I'm th I know there are a lot, and, and I'm, not, I'm not being a... I'm not being too humble when I say this, but there are a lot of guys that really deserve it that haven't gotten an award yet for the College Alley that should. Um, but to get this award means a lot. I've been wrestling for almost 25 years, and uh, you know I put in I put in my my blood, sweat, and tears in the business. You know, I mean, it's living the dream. Sometimes the dream don't live up to your expectations, but you know it's been a it's been a fun 25 years. You're very active in the autograph circuit. There's not very many conventions I've been to that you have not been a part of. Uh, Recently, in the past few years, I've been friends with you on Facebook. You're very busy as a wrestler. Uh, what's your secret to success? I'm the cockroach. You can drop a uh, uh, nuclear bomb on me and I don't go away. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that because I've heard a couple wrestlers say that and they've passed away. Oh, let's, let's not jinx me. Let's yeah, not jinx me, man. Think, uh, there haven't been two before in the past few months, have there? Uh, no, no, uh, no, 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 no. They say it comes in threes, you know? Yeah. So, I know, but uh, yeah. You're in good shape. You're still in the ring. You're. Uh, 30 pounds. I'm doing. I, I saw you. Like I said, he's my inspiration. I saw him getting the ring, kickboxing, knocking the crap out of people. And uh, as a matter of fact, I promoted you with this thing. I said, "Come see Hannibal, my favorite MMA fighter, my favorite kickboxer and pro wrestler." Because you got it all, brother. You're doing it all, and I respect that, man. I love it. You know. Plus, you've been good to the superstar, and I like that too. Because he was one of the reasons why I got in the business. I was just mentioning that to Evan Ginsberg earlier. Uh, I'm going to be visiting Superstar in a couple weeks. Hopefully we'll get some footage of him, but he has uh, a kidney issue right now where he has to urinate every 20 minutes. He desperately needs a hip replacement. He cannot do any autograph conventions. He's in a lot of pain on a daily basis, and he does have a GoFundMe if people want to look that up. But I know you were friends with uh, Billy, and you were around him during the taping of 360 Days. I remember that. I think yep. that was the first time I yep. met at you. At WrestleCon. Yeah. At WrestleCon. And Billy and I did an actually an interview. We did another documentary called Behind the Ropes. And one of the scenes that we filmed was, I was talking about how one of the, the, the Victory Sports Wrestling Series, I think it was The Wrestler magazine, no relation to the movie, but The Wrestler, um, I was a little kid coming back from Catholic school and they had the twined up newspapers and stuff and on top of it when the recycling was a guy bleeding tr profusely I said this is the most awesome thing I've ever seen and it was superstar Billy Graham and I opened it up and, and before I know it I, I knew it I was watching wrestling and um, on the UHF channels that came up it was from the from the uh, Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles and the first wrestler that I ever seen in my life God's honest truth was Greg the Hammer Valentine against Joe Turco from the Olympic Auditorium. Greg would become like my dad. And, you know, Jimmy Snooker trained me. So I had three dads in wrestling. Jimmy Snooker, well, really four if you think of it. One that, I, that I'm, I don't really have a very tight relationship in Superstar. But Superstar was the reason why I got into the business. Greg Valentine was the first wrestler I ever seen and wound up being my mentor on the road for many years. Jimmy Snooker trained me and was a, a father to me. And Kevin Sullivan took me overseas to all my all. I went to, I must have been on five continents with Kevin Sullivan. So speaking of that, uh, I understand from your post you're working on some type of overseas uh, project right now. Yes, I'm working on a, on, a, on an overseas tour to Cuba, and hopefully everything will be panned out. We're working with sponsors, and the sponsors are locked in. The government is working with me. The Cuban government is working with me, so it's a really good deal. Is the Ultimo Dragon involved with that at all? Because I understand he's really tight with the government. Sonny Ono and the Ultimate Dragon will be there. Excellent. I understand he would be the guy to hang out with if you go out in Cuba, too. You won't get in trouble with him. If you're with Jerry Sags, you will get in trouble. But <laughs> if you're with Hannibal, I think you would get in trouble there, too. I'm, I'm hoping to <laughs> coax Hannibal out of retirement and bring him on the Cuba tour. And I think that would be great, hanging out in Havana, doing Hannibal TV, smoking Cohibas with Ultimo Dragon. All right? That's, that sounds like a plan. What do you think? 
Who knows? Uh, I hate the weather in Canada, so especially if it's in the winter, that would definitely be a possibility. And finally, you are an actor. You've been in The Wrestler. You've been in Gotham. And I understand you've been in a Skittles commercial, too. Many Doritos, commercial Doritos. Doritos, too. This guy is extremely famous, so we're proud to have him on at the Hannibal TV. But now you're going to be in a New York Lotto commercial. I auditioned after WrestleCon. I ran out. Well, WrestleCon, as you know, ended at 4 p.m. on Friday the 5th. I ran out to 60 Madison Avenue to uh, uh, Beth Mel casting, ran in, did my audition, ran out, got a $115 New York City parking ticket. I was um, using some expletives at the time of the ticket, you know, a couple of WTFs and then stuff, and I look at my uh, phone, and it's uh, an email saying I got a call back. Call back, ran into wardrobe fitting, and now I'm in. So that should be fun. That New York Lotto is pretty, pretty um, well circulated commercial. So and it's Screen Actors Guild. So that's amazing. And I know how tough it is to get those acting jobs. I've, I'm part of the Canadian Actors uh, Guild, Actra, and it's really tough. It is. It's yeah. not easy. Yeah. You have to be there because they give you no heads up. Yeah. You have to go, especially in New York City. Now, but the good thing is now with Skype, you can Skype interviews and Skype uh, um, auditions, which helps a lot. And there have been times where I couldn't do it. My agent would say, "Here's your sides. Film the um, film the uh, the audition right now. Have it out to me by the next morning." And I would do that. And that's how I got on Sneaky Pete on Amazon Prime. And that's basically how I got on Gotham. And finally, do you want to tell everyone where they can follow you on social media? Uh, they can go to uh, Drew the Wrestler at, at Drew the Wrestler for Twitter. Um, the Re uh, Andrew the Reinforcer on uh, on Instagram. Andrew Anderson on uh, Facebook, just go to uh, the Reinforcer Andrew Anderson also on Facebook fan page. I have about four fan pages, I can't even give you, you know, I, I, my agent handles a lot of them. Um, I, I have a ma I, I've been blessed. I've ha I have a, a management team working with me and an agent and they've been working hand in hand and uh, it's, it's, it's been a good deal. So, Well, we hope to catch up with you again at the Cauliflower Alley Club in a couple weeks. Are you going to be wrestling on the card? No, I'm not doing not this year. Not this year. It's going to run too tight because I'm actually doing Chiller Theater weekend, uh, another autograph session signing. But as part of Cast of Gotham on uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday before before uh, Cauliflower Alley, and to get out that morning, pack all my merchandise because I did have comic books and comic stores. I also sell that merchandise when I'm a Chiller. So. Um, I have a merchandise table, so getting out of there and getting on the plane and going to Vegas is going to be kind of tight. I see. Well, Kevin Sullivan, of course, is going to be inducting you. Do you want to close this off with a Kevin Sullivan impression? Andrew, get your fat ass on the bus.